our next probability example here is going to be um, we're going to act like we were rolling dice and so we have one die and we're going to calculate the probability of rolling a four and then rolling a five and that has to be in sequential rolls and so one roll right after the other and so we can do this using um, the frequency formula and so our frequency formula is again the relative frequency of outcome x happening is equal to the number of events with outcome x divided by the total number of events. And so in this case, our example is going to be, uh, again, rolling a dice. And so a die has six sides. And so to roll a four on that, it's one side, we have a one in six chance of that happening. Now, on the next roll, to get a five, we also have a one in six chance of happening. And so when things like this uh, happen and we want sequential order, the, the probability goes that way of doing it. And so again, with rolling a five, again, we have a one in six chance. And so it makes sense that these numbers would be multiplied together, one sixth times one sixth should give us 1 36th or it would give us about a 0 0.0278 or a 2.8% chance of that happening. And so what we're saying here is we use multiplication to help us calculate the probability on sequential rules, rolling a four and then a five. And we can do that because we multiply the probability of event one happening by the probability of event two happening. And again, we get that 2.8% chance.